Hey INFJs, in today's video, let's talk about how you can get your energy back, how you can find your balance and how you can center when you feel that you've hit your limit. Because most INFJs identify as highly sensitive people, most INFJs also get easily overstimulated and easily anxious. INFJs, and here's the truth about INFJs, love extroverted intuition, love new ideas, love change and need change to stay and keep life interesting. However, most INFJs find change overwhelming and scary. It makes us anxious. Because of this, the INFJ is typical to pivot between two extremes. And that is, you know, time going out and putting yourself out there and time running away and avoiding uh, new ideas and new opportunities because they're too difficult or too overwhelming. Now, there is a thing you can do as an INFJ in order to stay balanced and to stay healthy in your goals and projects. If you're an INFJ, you need change in order to keep growing. Without change, you're never going to grow. You're never going to get new ideas. Where do you think your ideas come from? Well, they come from going out and doing new things. If you ever feel like you don't have any inspiration, if you ever feel like you don't know what to do, if you ever feel stuck, it's probably because you're not getting any new input. You need input to create output. So as an INFJ, often INFJs say, oh, my insights, they come out of nowhere. Suddenly I just experienced this aha insight and suddenly it all makes sense. Well, here's the truth. It doesn't come from nowhere. It came from somewhere. It came from your unconscious process, from extroverted intuition. So typically INFJs need to understand the relationship to the sensory and to the intuitive world outside of them. If you want to center and gain balance as an INFJ, when you get too excited or too overwhelmed by new thoughts or possibilities, you want to go to introverted sensing. The truth is INFJs really benefit from time to sit in nature or to engage in low sensory, uh, mild sensory inputs. That means when sensory stays at a low dose, at a healthy dose, when it's ASMR, when it's simple, recharging and peaceful, it's easy for you as an INFJ. And it's even positive for you as an INFJ. INFJs might find it boring to sit in nature, might find it boring to just be in nature or to just be outside, but INFJs greatly benefit from doing this. It gives you balance and it gives you stability. Without it, you'll find that you get anxious, irritated, or easily overwhelmed. And so, whenever you need it, you can allow it, you can take time for it. If you ever feel overwhelmed by something, you can always take a break. That means, if you're at an event and you're exhausted by all the social interaction, you can take a time out. You can go to a low-lit room and you can just sit. And you can just breathe. And you can just be. I've started engaging in several ways to stay balanced and to stay healthy and to stay centered in my work. And one of them is to practice meditation and Qigong. Qigong is a fascinating activity because it's a form of dancing. It's called the dance of opposites. Qigong relies on these simple gentle movements. Movements that help you get in touch with your sensory and with your body in a relaxed and easygoing manner. These kind of gentle inputs and gentle ways to exercise and to engage with the world are healthy and positive for you as an INFJ. And this is especially because extroverted sensing can be so overwhelming. Intense sensory stimuli and environmental pressure, attention, deadlines, pressure, speed and intensity are things that can trigger you as an INFJ and quickly drain your batteries. These kind of high engaging environments can be conducive for a while, but can become incredibly stressful over time. So as an INFJ, you have to choose your battles and you have to feed your process. You can't keep on pushing and burning yourself out, thinking you have to be amazing all the time, productive all the time and creative all the time. You need to have both a steady loop of output and a steady loop of input. You can't just be an industrious work rat, constantly doing, doing, doing. You have to allow yourself to be a recreational human with flaws, with weaknesses, with needs. And you have to be able to voice those needs and to pursue and get those needs for yourself. 
And so, as an INFJ, if you ever feel anxious, if you ever feel like it's all coming apart, if you ever feel like it's too much, allow yourself to build yourself back up again. Think about how you can give yourself what you need to come back together. Think about how to give yourself in order to protect and care and love for yourself. That's all for today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching.